<laughs> Who are you? John Donovan. And uh, you're the CTO of AT&T. Yep. And we thought we'd come out here and do it uh, outdoors because uh, AT&T is all about mobility now. It works for me. Actually, it's been great. I've been cooped up all day, so it's been great to get out and get a little sunshine. And tell me a little bit about your job. You just started nine weeks ago? Nine weeks ago. Yep, nine weeks in. So um, it's uh, it's been a whirlwind tour. Yeah. It's uh, It's been amazing. I, I, it's better than I expected. A lot of fun. Really enjoying it. We just did an interview walking over here on our on our cell phone yeah. over the AT&T. That, network, yeah, that so. was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit where you came from. What, what's your background? Because we well, already asked a lot of the questions on the cell oh, phone. Oh, yeah. I have an early entrepreneurial background. Spent some time in wireless. I uh, was with a, a startup and was a CEO there for a while. Our company was bought by a Silicon Valley uh, company, VeriSign. And I've known you know several of the folks at AT&T for a very long period of time. And grew up in the telecom industry. So for me, it's uh, been, been coming back from more of an internet culture to uh, you know, mainstream sort of telecommunications, it, I think it's just the right time. It's been exciting. 3G is just about to explode. I mean, I, I have two 3G cell phones already, um, and uh, certainly a big one's coming up on Monday. That's why we're doing this interview to try to get your... I keep telling you, and you won't listen to me. <laughs> you know more than I do. <laughs> of course, I'm asking about Apple's new iPhone, <laughs> and you won't tell me anything. Yeah. But let's talk about 3G, right? Uh, the trends there that are pretty dramatic. Oh yeah. More and more cell phones. I, my Nokia phones have 3G already. So, and spraying through the air is 3G right here. That's why I was able to do a cell phone interview with yep. you. Tell me what's going on in that network. How you're building it out. How how far along are you at that build out? Because obviously I, I've been all over Silicon Valley with my 3G phone, and it's probably 60, 70 percent of the places I want to do 3G from are already uh, 3G. But it's not yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. Well, um, you know, start with footprint. I mean, if you look, we're in well over 200 cities. The target for end of the year is to be in 350 cities. Um, you know, once we get a, a profile and get our footprint, then we're really trying to get um, enough handsets in people's hands that they can get out and use them. Um, and then, uh, then we start to, to fill it in. And, and uh, so we're very excited about the roadmap because if you look at it, not only are we past you know launch and starting to fill things out and provide you the capabilities to do things like an interview walking across the street but the roadmap we have between here and our spectrum for 4G is we still have several software upgrades and capabilities and just yesterday you know we announced we're taking our, our rateable laptop connect product up to you know our, our ranges are are up higher and so we have yeah. you know some other releases that are coming that'll take the uh, the, the speeds uh, up and up and up, and, and we feel very, very good with the roadmap that we have with backward compatibility and, and forward capability that we'll have enough bandwidth for the types of things so that if everybody starts doing some of the crazy things you're doing, that we have the headroom to be able to continue to move with that. So, Yeah, well, let's talk about that, because at the Justice concert, I saw all these teenagers uh, holding up their cell phones and recording the concert. Right. So, so this is really an interesting phenomenon. When you traditionally build a network, you build a network with the priority at voice, and then you have some data, and then you have some dynamic channels that you know switch and let the voice come in front of the data. Now all of a sudden, and that's one of the most profound uh, changes, is that when you look at events, what used to be a busy hour isn't relevant anymore because during halftime or during a, a commercial timeout or during a song at a concert, everybody jumps into mode and it's all about data. And that, that phenomenon has caused us to fundamentally uh, change the way that we, we forecast uh, the demand on these networks. And it's really become a, a data-led revolution. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, well, it's had... really amazing that strides you guys have made in just a few years at the Consumer Electronics Show. We used to not be able to get a cell phone dial tone out, right? Yeah. Because there were so many people trying to use their cell phones on the show floor. Now I was sending live video like I was with you from the cell from the show floor. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, we uh, only one of the areas we're getting better is looking at, at events. But you know, and I mentioned we're getting a lot more granular on how we're doing this. We really have to shrink our time frames down and think fundamentally about how we're doing design because. Uh, you know, there are lots more and more folks like you that are showing up at the same place at the same time and, and uh, creating a bursty events for us. So yeah. it's uh, not just about getting there, it's about watching what people are doing and making sure we stay a step ahead so that, 
you can have the same experience doing this interview, you know, eventually at, at, at some more remote location than here in, in uh, downtown San Francisco. Well, I know you need to run, so, and I uh, hope, hope you say hi to Steve Jobs on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're looking forward to getting some of these new devices that have 3G, certainly, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys do with 4G and the, and the new uh, LTE technologies. Well, thanks, thanks for that, and um, I'm sure that as soon as I know something, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the first to know. <laughs> Thank you.